Now, just on the voice debate and diversity of opinions here on Sky, on Monday night, I was critical of no campaigner Gary Johns. He's the former Keating Labor government minister who's published widely on Indigenous issues and reckons we ought to impose blood or DNA testing on Indigenous people before they can receive benefits and the like. Last night, Andrew Bolt took exception to my commentary and tried to explain why I was wrong and Gary Johns was right. If you want to have a race-based system whereby you get benefits because of your ancestry, then at some stage you have to measure. Cue the outrage, including from a couple of presenters here at Sky, like this last night. Now, this is pretty odious stuff, completely unnecessary and underpinned by some sort of resentment, as if being Aboriginal is a rort. Well, that's wrong. The rort isn't being Aboriginal. The rort is pretending you are. Well, yes, this is something that Andrew has highlighted often before, bravely at times, pointing out people who have fudged their identity. So last night he mentioned Bruce Pascoe again and another well-known activist of the past, the late Bobby Sykes. On its website, Melbourne University advertises the prestigious Roberta Sykes Scholarship to send students identifying as Aboriginal to great universities like Harvard or Oxford. Melbourne Uni says here that on this page that Roberta Sykes, whose name is on the award, was the first Indigenous Australian to graduate from an American university. And it quotes one of the lucky scholarship winners, Kerry Doyle, who says this Roberta Sykes Award allowed me to attend Oxford University and currently I am the inaugural Professor of Indigenous Health at Western Sydney University. All lovely, except of course, like Bruce Pascoe, Neither woman is or was Aboriginal, not according to their genealogical records. Yeah, I think this stuff is worthy of examination, and I've been critical of Pascoe and the late Sykes too. And the universities that ignore the facts on these matters undermine their own credibility. But the point is we know about these issues. We know these facts without blood tests, without DNA tests. These issues can be debated, they can be exposed and they can be dealt with, and they are, perhaps not by the ABC, but they are dealt with others and they are exposed. And we do it without holding the ugly spectre of broad-based blood or DNA testing over all Indigenous people. That remains an odious idea in my view and has no place in a nation like ours.